Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to use the camera app on the iPad mini 6. So let's open it up and let's take a look at what we've got. So first of all, you can see we do have the zoom, so you can change that between one times and two times. Keep in mind there is only one camera available on the iPad mini 6, meaning the zoom is digital. If you want to zoom to a custom length, just long press and then swipe up to go up to five times and then swipe down to go back to one times. Let's have a look at this. This is the live photos option. So if this is on, it will record a small video and a photo at the same time. So let's take a look at that. So if we just go to the photos app, you can see it looks like a regular video, a photo even. However, if you long press on it, you will see it will show the last couple of seconds. It will also record uh, your audio as well. Then we have the timer. So this is uh, off three seconds or 10 seconds. What this will do is it will delay the photo being shot by the amount of time chosen. So if you set this to 10 seconds, it will wait 10 seconds uh, before the photo is taken. If you want to cancel the timer, just tap on the cancel button right there. So I'm just gonna turn this off. And you have the flash toggle. You can either have this set to auto, so iOS will automatically determine whether or not to use the flash. And then you have on and off. So I'm just gonna set this to auto. Then we have the uh, the flip button and you can see it will flip the camera and now I'm using the front camera so if, if I just cover that up you can see it is the front camera right here. Next let's move over to video so this will take a video uh, on your iPad mini 6. Now you can customize the video settings you do this by going into settings and then you just want to find the camera tap on camera and you can see you can change record video and record slow-mo so if I just tap on this you can choose the uh, quality which you want your iPad mini 6 to record. You also have uh, the format so I recommend you have this set to high efficiency however if you want to share your videos with your Windows computer not Mac you are uh, recommended uh, to tap on most compatible there otherwise just keep it at high efficiency. So let's just take a look real quick at the uh, video so we do have the flash option we have the option to change the rotation we have the zoom like we had earlier and then this will start the recording when you see this red at the very top that means the recording started if you just tap on this again the recording has stopped then we have slow motion and you will need to change the uh, video quality inside the settings so settings and then you see right here record slow mo and you can choose either 1080p at 240 fps or 120. if you set this at 240 the video will be slower 120 it will be less slow because how it works is it will capture the video at 240 frames per second then it will slow it down to 30 frames per second so if you do the math 240 divided by 30 is eight times so it will slow it down by eight times and then you have 120 fps which will slow down the video by four times so you can just record a slow motion let's do that right now and just do like this boom and just tap on the video and you should be able to see the slow motion effect However, you will notice the beginning of the video doesn't have that effect. To fix this, go to edit, and then you just want to find right here at the very bottom. Now there's this slow motion stuff. So this line where you see there's larger gaps, that is that means slow motion is applied. Just swipe that to the very left and to the very right, and then we just tap on now. And you can see if I play, the entire video will be in slow motion. Next, let's go to time lapse. So uh, what this will do is it will record a time lap uh, lapse recording. What is that? Well, it's essentially a fast uh, mode recording. So let's just stop that. And you can see it's just a faster recording. So if we just play that again, there you go. It just speeds everything up. Boom, just like that. There's no real options to configure here other than you know, switching to the front camera. And that is really it. So let's scroll down. This is square. So essentially, it will just take a photo in the square aspect ratio. And you also do have those toggles from earlier. And then you have panorama. So panorama will allow you to take a really wide photo. So you just go like this, you just tap on this. And you just want to keep your iPad in that line. So just don't like move it around. If you move it to up, you can see it causes issues. And you literally just move your iPad around. And it does give you step-by-step -step instructions. And then boom, you can see it takes a really wide photo. So that's how to use the camera app on your device. If you do go to the uh, camera area inside the settings, there are a bunch of options as well, like if you want a grid on and if you want the front camera to be mirrored. So let's just test those out. If I go to grid, you can see there is now a grid on. And if I mirror the front camera, it will just flip it. So if I just go to the front, you can see this is how I look now. I'm going to turn off mirror front camera and you can see it just flips me. So 
I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for brand new. There should be end screens right now. Check out the playlist you see for iPad Mini 6 tips and tricks. There's a bunch of tips and tricks for the iPad Mini 6, which I can guarantee you do not know. So I recommend you check that one out right now. If you do not see the end screens for whatever reason, check it out in the description down below. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.